thank you for joining us uh, on a very short notice. I am joined by other legislative leaders, our Superintendent of Public Instruction, Dr. Barisi, and also our Secretary of Education, Phyllis Hudecki, to address some comments that were made earlier this afternoon at a Board of Education meeting, and to also address some issues that I've heard about from our Superintendent of Education and some actions that were just taken by the Board of Education. Let me just first of all start out by saying that as governor, I am deeply disappointed by what has been reported to me about the conduct of our members of our State Board of Education, of some of the members that are on that board, and by the lack of civility in that board meeting, and frankly, I think unprofessional conduct and words that were even spoken at that meeting. Certainly, the board itself has statutory responsibility, and they have been given that by the legislature, but I also think there has to be a certain level of respect that goes with anyone who serves on any of our boards or commissions in the state of Oklahoma. So I have to say I'm very disappointed. Our superintendent of education instruction has been elected by the people of Oklahoma to serve in the capacity of the superintendent for education for our state. And in doing that, she has an obligation and a responsibility to the people of Oklahoma that have selected her and given her a vote of confidence to go about her job as the superintendent of education and to do things that would obstruct her from the ability to be able to perform her job and frankly I think even in an obnoxious way from what I've been told about of, of the Board of Education is not helpful to improving education in the state of Oklahoma and certainly not what our children deserve in our state, much less to mention the parents of the children of our state. Um, I have heard that there has been some demeaning comments that were made of a pregnant woman who the superintendent uh, and I understand the board subsequently approved to hire in a position about uh, her being worthless to the board because she was pregnant. And I will just say, as a pregnant woman myself who ran for the state legislature in 1990 and was pregnant during not only the primary election but had a baby between the primary and the general, I certainly proved that women can be pregnant and can get the job done. Lord knows I went on to be elected to the legislature, to lieutenant governor, to Congress and now governor, so shame on them for making fun of a pregnant woman. I'm sorry, I've got to put that out there because it's really disgusting to hear those type of, of comments being made. I also want to say that I think in, in the day and age that we live in, in our nation, that it is important for all of us as professionals to work together. We may have differences in how we believe education should be run in our state. We may have philosophical differences, political differences, but we have a new superintendent of education that deserves respect by our board. And I know that it's not the whole board of education that has acted in this way, it's just certain individuals, but I just want to call upon our board of education members and those in particular who um, bullied our new superintendent today to rethink their course of action, to show some courtesy, show some respect, and let's get on with the mission of a state, and that is to continue to improve education in our state to give our children the quality education that they deserve, and let's put the political games behind us. And so I wanted to um, encourage all of us to tone down the rhetoric, to work together in a professional way, and to give due respect to each other, either as board members or either as the superintendent of education. And I hope that moving forward, the superintendent will be able to 
look at bringing the very best and brightest employees to work alongside her. I understand that she's been uh, turned down by some of the appointments that she wanted to bring on board to help her in her mission as superintendent of, of instruction and education. She has found well-qualified people and they deserve to get a fair hearing and she deserves to be able to bring on people that 